Um, the story was a pickup is, truck incident, as I recall. No, well, that's a, that's a <laughs> story in folklore that's probably more exaggerated than true. The, it, 20 years ago, when uh, then Chrysler President Bob Lutz was, uh, together with Francois Castaigne and uh, Tom Gale, were doing the original Viper, um, they were looking for a good power plant. And, and they had this iron block V10 motor that, of course, was, was planned for the pickup truck line at that time. And um, at the time, you'll recall, Chrysler also owned Lamborghini, who was doing aluminum motors for Formula One and needed some help. And, and so there was a, a co-collaboration between Chrysler and Lamborghini. And, and one of the products of that was the aluminum block that was used in the Viper. And Vipers have always had aluminum block motors. Um, many people may not know. The first gen Viper was a V10 um, overhead valve motor um, and it made 400 horsepower. And then every generation of Viper, um, we've worked hard to significantly improve power output. The second generation cars in the mid 90s were 450 horsepower. The Gen 3 cars in 2003 were 500 horsepower. Gen 4, the last car was 600 horsepower. And now for Gen 5, the 2013 SRT, um, we have 640 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque. So how'd you get that 640? What'd you do to it? How'd yeah, you do the, it? Um, a lot of tweaking of internals in the motor, a lot of reworking and continuous improvement and continuing to just hone the, the beast. Um, the intake has been uh, significantly re-engineered. It's got a new composite intake that breathes um, much better So and is also much lighter weight. It's like seven pounds lighter than the old one. Um, and the, uh, in the combustion chamber, we've got forged pistons in the car for added robustness. Uh, on the exhaust side, new uh, catalyst wash coats and freer flowing exhaust systems that you know, contribute a significant power increase as well. So, um, and then we're, we're getting another 100 RPM uh, to redline, and so that helps a little bit. And then finally, uh, Dick Winkles and the engine guys have kind of leaned it down a little bit, so they're running it uh, very aggressively. Obviously. When this hits the streets, people are going to want more power. You never have enough power, right? <laughs> so can you supercharge it? Can you turbocharge it? Well, the aftermarket always does these things yes. on Vipers, of course, Roman. Yeah. Um, and uh, yes, you can do all those things. And, and that was part of the reason for the upgrade to forged pistons, is we know some Viper owners, uh, 640 horsepower won't be enough for them. So um, the forged pistons add a, an element of robustness to the motor that you know will make it easier for guys to mod it. Uh, if they choose to do that and, and you know, not create a great grenade motor in their car. So. All right, well, one other question. Sure. The old Viper was known for tenuously sticking to the road to a point. And when it would let go, it would literally bite you in the ass. Well, it, it could. Now, the, the last gen Viper um, was actually a very predictable uh, car, but, but to your point, the limits on the Viper, I mean, it, you know, with the huge rear tires it has, are extremely yeah, high yeah. and they're beyond push it, push it, push it. It, it most, they're beyond far beyond what most mortals are used to experiencing so i mean when you're pulling you know well over a g in a turn it's, yeah. it, it and if you start to slide out and lose it it's a lot of people could get in trouble with the car so, now, so the new car traction control uh, stability course, control um like it or not the new viper by law must have stability control available in the car but um, because it's an SRT and the flagship of SRT, the new Viper um, will have several different modes of stability control. Um, when you start the car up, it'll have a full uh, stability control system, and it's and it's all on, so it's got traction control and it, it's it's monitoring yaw and steering input, and so it's it's um, predicting where you're trying to go based on where you're pointing the steering wheel, and if it senses that okay, you're not going to get there because of what the car is doing, it'll apply braking at any of the four corners and you know, input right. throttle cuts, etc. Like to help you regain control, maybe before you even realize you were out of control. So, so that's what's on when you start it up. But um, I assure you, this is tuned by SRT engineers. Uh, you know, you. we have several ex-national racing champions who've done this work and, um, and they're very good at it. And they don't, we did, what we didn't want was a system that would cut in on you too aggressively. So. Um, I assure you, you'll you'll be able to hang it out there, even with the system full on, and and have some fun with the car, drift it around a little bit, and get a little loose without without the car, you know, being the fun police and clamping down on you. So.